Hey everyone, this look was heavily requested in yesterday's Florida haul, so I tried to approximate it. It never comes out exactly the same the second time, but here it is, and keep watching and you'll see how I did it. Okay, so I just want to show you what part of the palette we'll be using. Of course, it's upside down, but I'm going to be staying on the mats over here, and um, I used the white for my brow bone highlight and inner corner highlight. I used the light pink for my lid, and then the crease is mauve. It's hard to read upside down. The crease is mauve and sable. I believe is what I used. It might be mauve and taupe. We're just going to kind of play around. I can't remember exactly what I did yesterday. So anyway, just to let you know, I've already done my face makeup as far as foundation concealer and all that. I'll put that below. And I did prime my lids with Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. I don't know why. That's just what I grabbed. I flip flop between that one and the um, Lorac Pro and a paint pot, just whatever's handy. And so um, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to change it up a little from yesterday. I used um, NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk here and here first, but I want to try my new Coastal Scents Camo Quad that I got um, before I left for Florida, and I will talk about this more in my concealer video, but there's this lovely white, and um, I can't figure out what else I would use it for, so I'm going to... Uh, tr I'm just using a Real Techniques um, domed shadow brush and I'm dipping that in there and I'm just going and I'm gonna look to the side because that's where my mirror is and I'm going out today so I don't want to look ridiculous and really I think it's best to pat it in with a finger I really like I think this was the key to the whole look really is this white color under the um, brow bone it does lift up my eye and um, it's like plastic surgery without getting because look at this I mean this is what I would love to have <laughs> surprise I guess nothing a little Botox couldn't handle right now but um I don't really want that permanently surprised look life should not be that shocking that you're always walking around like so anyway and then I'm just kind of Stippling that right into the inner corner. Try not to stab yourself in the eye. I did that yesterday. And then it's really just easiest to pat it with your finger. The warmth of your finger also melts the concealer. And this is technically concealer, but to me, I'm going to use this more like as a cream shadow, really. I'm using the Sigma Flat. Um, shader brush. It's the old numbering. SS239. I should really just get a silver sharpie and write the old, the new lettering in. I'm using a matte light pink and I am starting in the middle and working my way out. I should zoom in a little for you. It's probably a good idea to tap out the brush. It does get a little, like you can see it all on my lashes. I'm not hitting my inner corner. I'm going to go back with white, and I probably should have done that first. Okay, so I can tell you I have made a mistake, but I'm just going to persevere and go through. The concealer dries a little cakey right there. So I don't know exactly how I'm going to fix that, but we will just pretend like it doesn't look like that. I'm going in with the same brush um, in the white, and I'm just going over this with and I'm tapping it off this time so I have the pink on I'm gonna blend a little bit and now I am going in with this brush which is kind of like a 224 but it's a little more narrow and it's by London Soho I think the packaging doesn't say but um, I'm just sticking that in there in the mauve and tapping it lightly back and forth in the crease I'm trying to keep my eye open so that I can be sure to see it. Now you'll notice when I look down, there's like a, it doesn't get in the socket. And that's okay, we'll deepen that area up with a smaller brush and a darker color. 
Okay. I also want you to note that um, I'm pretty much going straight across. I'm not dipping down into the outer corner because I don't want my eyes to be any droopier than they are. Let me see if I can stop the wrestling match. One second. Um, now I'm taking a smaller brush and this is actually a MAC brush. It's my only MAC brush. It's a MAC 222. It's a much narrower um, point than the um, what would be the 224, and I'm dipping that into the taupe shade, which just to remind you, looks like that. There we go. And I apologize again for lighting. Now this, I'm closing my eyes because see, I wanna get it into this weird part of my eye that didn't really get any of the other color, and I am circling it down into the corner there. And I will take another brush and blend it. Now, if you're more talented than I am in blending, that step isn't necessary, but I'm just never gonna get this blending thing down right. Okay, now I'm just gonna go over it with my favorite duo-ended brush from Walmart. I'm actually going over my whole eye. And now I think I need a little more in the outer corner. Lastly, so I'm going in with Sable, which is the third darkest brown. Right there, that one. And I'm just stamping it into the corner there. And bringing it up a little. Kind of like a up and out. And that's it. So um, another step I'm going to add that I didn't do yesterday because I didn't have it yet was I did um, do a little shopping for the Cyber Monday sale and I ordered um, the MAC chromographic pencil in NC15 and W20. This is a pro item, but you can get pro on the website even if you're not a pro, which clearly I'm not. So I just ordered it and um, I'm going to put it in my inner my waterline. I'm gonna put it on my waterline. Now all I need is eyeliner and I'm using my trusty lionfish and all I do and this is so bad but lately all I've been doing is I pulling on my eyelid a little bit. I'm not tugging at it but I am gently putting pressure closing my eyes and just going straight across. Trying to keep it as close to the lash line as I can. And then I will take a very tiny wee little brush that's so tiny I can't find it. One, there it is. It's by Real Techniques and it's their accent brush. And I will dip that into Espresso, which is the darkest brown, and just smudge it into the eyeliner and kind of pull it a little into the inner corner. And that just softens it up. And I'll do the other eye and I'll be right back. Now I want a little something under my eye, but I do find that if I put even just brown or heaven forbid black under my eye, it just looks awful. What I've been using isn't available in the US, but if you're in Germany, grab, it's by P2, the perfect look eye cudgel and it's in bronze, I believe. In the US, um, I believe Max Power Surge uh, eyeliner is the same thing, but I have this, so this is what I'm using, and I'm just doing it under the outer half, I'd say. It adds a little shadow without overloading my little eyes, and it looks like this here. Just like that. So all that's left to do is curl my lashes and I don't know if I've ever shown you on camera how awesome the MAC curler is, but it's humongous. So what I do is I look down a little bit. It's easier to get it over everything that way. I think if I turn to the side, you'll see it better. So my whole eyeball's in there. 
And then I just hold it and I pump it like maybe three times. I have no idea if that does anything, but it makes me feel better. And can you see the difference? I don't know if you can, but I can. And then my two-step process. First, the prep and prime, and it's a new one, so it is a little goopier. I like it better when it dries out a little, but I really just concentrate. See, it's clumping. I just concentrate on the tips. because I don't want it to flake. And I use this to kind of separate all my lashes. And then I do do the bottom because that's where I get the worst of the smudging. My Jordana Best Lash. I'll do one eye and then I will leave you. So under a wiggle, pull. Under a wiggle, pull. I won. So that's with mascara and without. Okay, now I'm getting whiplash. And now I'm using the NYX uh, lipstick in Paris. Just like that. So, let me change out of my pajamas, brush my hair, and we'll see the whole look. So this is the final look. It never comes out the same way um, as the first time, and it always comes out the best the first time. But I just added um, gray pearl stud earrings from Target, and I haven't even put on any other jewelry yet. Um, lipstick is, like I said, Paris by NYX. Hair is Mess by Marnie. And the sweater is, um, very nice and cozy, of course, from Target. I'm gonna do a quick outfit of the day. I'm taking Wrigley to his puppy training. It's not puppy training, it's therapy dog training class. And um, I may need therapy for thinking my dog could do this, but I will just back up and show you my so not cute outfit. Um, and I'll move my shoes. So it's this longer sweater. It does pull down longer in the back. It has the cable fisherman's kind of thing going on in the front and it's just this plain basket weave. I don't know. I don't knit. Um, I'm just going to climb up here to show you the rest. These are gray, stretchy, jegging, skinny jean thingies from Target, of course. Where else? And then I'm wearing my Bailey Uggs from last year. Um, that is it. I apologize for the lighting and everything. Like I said, I have some stuff going on in the other room, some people out there, and so I'm hiding in my bathroom. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.